unreal, like completely blown away. This pain and this attitude, this race, without pain, that's exciting. Good morning. There he is. Good morning. Hello, nice to see you. Come. Come along. Come here. Well, it's finally time. I'm hoping to achieve something worthwhile. Do you think it would be a good idea if we considered working at that place? Wow, can you even believe it's been two entire years? I'm doing. So well. I honestly have no clue about what's going on. Don't usually act like this. I've played football practically my whole life. I was. A really good defense. That means countless races and plenty of intense sprints. And about two years ago, I suddenly became aware that my knee started feeling pain. My right knee is really hurting. Again and again, way too often, I'm up early, I jog. Shock or don't even want to jump fast, but I have a persistent pain in my knee, when then to the orthopedist and then onward to the doctor, I reported I have knee pain and it needs to be thoroughly checked. The knee is absolutely intact. The doctor says everything is fine. I actually have a hip problem, which has always been seen in the desert, why they call it coxarthrosis. He mentioned that I'm still way too young for any real issues with my hip. I can definitely delay it, but inevitably. It must occur at some point. Reflecting on it during training, I face a 70-year-old competitor, and he outruns me effortlessly. This simply can't be it. A year ago, before quitting football entirely, I decided to switch and become a goalkeeper. After scoring the goal, I had to make very jerky movements. I can feel it. I often felt like I crashed back into it. We need to call off the training. If Roland has treated you now, yes. You can begin to feel where you can truly progress, and if you consistently do the exercises he has suggested, or you identify together, staying diligent in practicing them becomes crucial for success. Roland, I think I'll just hand it over now. Yes, yes, exactly. I need to tighten it up right here. Let's go ahead and start the filming now to see how it all turns out. In which position or movement the pain gets triggered? You know, like this whole shoe-tying ordeal? Ah, uh, you can already see here, in the back on the right. Yes. I can feel it here. Okay, now it's starting. All right, please stay just like that. Don't move. If you want to take care of it, everything will be resolved. Perfect. Is there a spot on the hip that still hurts? Then please stand up and later squat down. Then please stand up and later slowly go down into the squat position. And stretch your back. Actually, also the knee. I then feel myself in pain. All right, just give it a nice turn. Right side. Here comes the pain. All right, and take a turn to the left side. When I want to transition smoothly into a full sprint, then it's immediate. On the right side, in the knee area, there's a noticeable stretch. Come quick, put on your shoes. We're going outside for a moment. I haven't done it in ages. Actually sprinted, because I know that I just can't. Yeah. I know it hurts. Ideally, just as soon as it begins to hurt while you're running, reach out with your hand. Keep pushing through completely. Yes. Okay, I feel this like a sharp pain here. Like a stabbing pain? Yes, exactly, like a stabbing pain. You can definitely see it, isn't that so? So a sprint isn't possible anymore. Nope, no chance. It's just not possible anymore, the way I could imagine it, where I already considered, hey, come on, hang up the boots and let it go. But Anna gave me a tap on the shoulder and said, no, do something. Lie on your back and now's the time to simply enjoy, truly relax fully, completely unwind and let go. Hurt. A little, yes, but it's not bad. There are points in the body and if they are sensitive, that's a good sign. Because that strongly suggests to us that these specific points are linked to tense muscles. And when I apply pressure there and then aim to relieve stress, that's precisely what we have experienced. Because we found out that most of the pain here is simply related to muscles and fascia being too tense. 
The more sensitive the points are, the better it is. I would ask you to focus carefully on the area of concern. It's really important to notice and interpret what your body signals, especially when sensitivity is involved. Identifying these areas help pinpoint tension and guides us on addressing it effectively. So please take a moment to tune in and focus on this for the best possible results. Please sit on the edge of the bench. Then I would say, just try walking over there where there's a plant, then come back. Let's go back and forth just to get a feel for it. It's as if a big weight has been taken away. It feels good. It is a mystery. I feel no pain. It's like jelly, incredibly soft and quite light. I'm currently strolling through the entire room now. All right, in that case, I would like to ask you, we had placed the chair over there. Is there anything that you can feel or sense in that spot? That's when it began to hurt. Now let's move further down. Unbelievable. I feel no pain. Insane. From 1 to 10, how much pain do you feel? Continue going further down, further down. Yes, tell me. Zero, none. Bill. Bring it all the way down with your hand. How long has that not been doable? Without pain? For an entire year. This is crazy. I can't believe it. All right then. And please continue going down until I say to stop. Stop. That's exactly where it began to pull. Wow, OK. Zero, zero. Further down, further down, wonderful. Now we'll hold. Let's hyperextend, that's very good. Do you feel anything now? None at all? Zero. Let's push further. How does it feel now? Nope. i definitely say, go ahead and put on the shoes right now. Absolutely incredible. Insane. I feel a little... This position which has particularly tasted so good. Yes. Wait. Shall we go for a run? Okay. Let's just test it. Uh, let's do the same sequence as before and go. Keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, keep pushing, keep it steady, keep pushing forward, keep pushing forward, keep going, don't stop, keep it up, stay focused. Wow, but what happened? What has just happened to me? 31 seconds. I always say, awesome. An indescribably beautiful feeling to be able to run again, to jump like that again, to be able to sprint, nothing hurts. We've worked on several points on the body. Now it feels completely different. Exactly, it feels completely different. You certainly couldn't do it before. This is like absolutely amazing. You didn't perform any interventions, just applied some pressure. That's... Ha! Huh. How's it going? It's utterly insane. We arrived here with a set of expectations like this, and it turned out to be up to here. Oh, 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 baby. I feel on fire. It's incredible, you know. That's precisely the goal you must have in mind right now, to continuously progress. You have the capability to do so. You need to do the exercise now. Such an amazing new feeling. To come down here. The right leg is stretched out, and the left leg is positioned in front. Indeed. The exercise really involves simply allowing yourself to hang in there comfortably. Tiring, but that's how it's meant to be. We are truly sports enthusiasts, indeed supporters, and we are quite thrifty. And if we move to the left and um, here, there should be a light pull. A light pull. Are you noticing that? Yes, I most certainly am. All right, it appears we have well and truly reached exactly a full total of 10 minutes by now. Yeah, it's gold worth. Got quite a bit more than you expected, huh? Totally. I mean, that is wow. What we have achieved. I can't put it into words. It's just a beautiful feeling to be able to do things again that I couldn't do before. I'm able to put my socks on once more, and I can fasten my shoe, tie it up securely. There was no pain there. After that, none. And then that moment where we were earlier. It was completely there at 100%. Wow, I can actually go even further back. Didn't expect it at all. Now. Are you up? Yes, I will definitely do it. I will do this exercise. I will definitely incorporate this routine. You should do it every...
morning. That truly is the greatest thing for us, the very highest value we could possibly imagine, and it has great, significant importance for our goals. Glad you're feeling this. Thanks. Welcome. Treatment Monday and two days later, training. It was amazing, really amazing. I was so thrilled. I was outside for the first time. I did bring gloves as a goalkeeper, but today I only went into goal at the end because in the end, I can't keep up with my conditioning anymore. A few times it's still pinched. I have to admit that. So it's not nothing. It's not over quite yet, but I'm certainly on the best path to recovery and hopefully soon we'll be able to train pain-free and happily and fully again. I'll definitely keep it up. So good evening everyone. It's incredible, but 14 days have gone by now. There were still a few twinges here and there, something I've already mentioned before. But since then, I've been able to return to playing soccer for the second time. And now it truly doesn't twinge at all anymore. I'm really doing my exercises daily now. I don't dare to skip them. I can sense that it's improving slightly more with each day that passes. I'm definitely committed to staying on track. Five weeks ago, I had a treatment with Roland Liebscher-Bracht, and I really feel an improvement. I perform the exercises effortlessly, and it really works. Everything functions much, much better now. Playing football is working out really great again. It's just incredibly good for me. I also want to say a huge thank you to the team at Liebscher-Bracht for changing my life. Thank you so much.